Well, hello there. Hey, I bet you've never seen a devotional start with someone's feet blocking the camera, have you? My name is Jared. I'm one of the pastors at Willowbrook, and I did that because I want you to remember what we're about to read in our daily devo in John chapter 13, because it's a passage that centers around feet. That's right, feet. Let's take a look at the scripture. It says in John chapter 13, it was just before the Passover had come for Jesus to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, Jesus showed them the full extent of his love. We're in the midst of Holy Week here, and Jesus is about to go to the cross and die for the sins of his disciples. And just before Jesus has this Passover meal with his disciples, what we call the Lord's Supper, Jesus goes to the extent of showing his love in a very unique way. Uh, and it's centered around their feet. Now, I've been to different countries in the world, I'm sure you have as well, and they all have their unique traditions. One unique tradition in Japan, I say unique, probably, there are probably other countries that do this, but in Japan, I was caught off guard the first time I visited with all their traditions around feet and shoes. So when you enter into someone's house, or even when you enter into a Japanese restaurant, people take off their shoes. There's actually all these bins or shelves where you can place your shoes when you walk in, and they give you these slippers to wear to your table at a restaurant or wear in someone's house. That's tradition whenever you enter into any restaurant or house. Well, the Jews, the people of Israel, had traditions as well. They would take off their sandals, and there would be a large basin at the entrance into someone's home, and that basin would be filled with water. Why? Because people's feet were dirty, and their feet would be washed by the slaves in the home. Now, Jesus here, as he and his disciples are in the upper room about to have a meal, Jesus goes to an extent of his love. Jesus shares with his disciples, gives them an example of his love by doing exactly what we just talked about, washing their feet. Something that usually only a slave in a home would do, and yet Jesus, the King of kings and Lord of lords, gets down on his knees, takes a towel, and washes their feet. Why is he doing that? Well, actually, the scripture tells us, the scripture tells us in verse 15, he says, I have set an example that you should do as I have done for you. Jesus washes their feet in an act of selfless servanthood, and Jesus says, I've set an example for you. This is how you're to treat each other. Later on, famously, he would say in this passage, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. Hey, as you're starting your day today, or maybe you're watching this later in the day, uh, regardless of what time of day it is, have you served other people? Can you serve other people today? Of course you have, can. You know, it'd be easy to be like the world and try to set yourself high and mighty and have other people serve you. Jesus could have done that too, but remember Jesus said he was different. He came not to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. And now Jesus, just before he's about to go to the cross, he shows his disciples yet one more time that he was the servant king. Hey, look today for how you can serve people. Look today for not how you can be lifted up, but how you can actually lower yourself and serve others. Have a great day.